This is a HIMS and 7 cylinder diesel generator. Read the instruction manual carefully and ensure that all the tools and spare parts are available. Do risk assessment and post main network tag on the switchboard. Generator control to manual mode. Change the control from remote to local or on engine control. Switch off the pre-lubricating oil pump and jacket water preheater. Engage the turning gear. Shut the starting air inlet valve and drain the line. Shut the fuel oil and diesel oil inlet valves. Close the water inlet and outlet valves and drain the line. Close the water valve to and from the expansion tank. Detach the fuel pump high pressure block and take out the fuel injection pipe. Loosen and remove the bolts which connect the cylinder head to the exhaust gas trunk. Unscrew the two nuts which holds the rocker arm. Lift up the rocker arm assembly. Disconnect cooling water pipes by moving axially towards the driving end. Also disconnect the exhaust gas temperature sensor. Remove the lube oil connections for inlet and exhaust side. You can see a o-ring there. Also remove the yoke for inlet and exhaust sides. Remove both the inlet and exhaust push rods. Remove the lube oil connection piece and the support piece for the fuel injector. Now we are ready to remove the four hydraulic nuts. So first uh, install the extension screw, then the support, and finally the hydraulic back. Hydraulic jacks installed on all the nuts. High pressure hoses are connected between the hydraulic jacks and the hydraulic pump. Hydraulic pump is air driven. There should be around a 5, 5 to 6 bar pressure. Fully tight the hydraulic jack. and then loosen it for one turn this is very important make sure that the support piece is uh, sitting on the same cylinder head uh, do the same procedure for all the jacks fully tight and turn back one turn
close the oil return valve. By slowly opening the cycling valve, we can increase the hydraulic pressure. Now we can see that hydraulic pressure is uh, increasing slowly. For this engine, the opening of cylinder head the nut is 900 bar. 900 bar is the opening pressure. So we will set the pressure at 900 bar. And then we will try to loosen the hydraulic nuts. Yes, now the pressure is 900 bar. Now we can firmly close the cycling wire. Now we will try to loosen the hydraulic nuts. See, yes, this one is open. So now turn back for six holes. Six or seven holes, turn back. Do it the same procedure for all the bolt nuts. As the four nuts are already open, so we can slowly reduce the pressure. While reducing the pressure, um, keep moving the nuts to ensure that it won't get stuck. Now the pressure is zero. Check whether the nuts are moving freely. Yeah, this is moving. Check for all the four. And open the oil return valve. Tight all the jacks fully to its end position. So that all the oil will return back to the pump. After that loosen all the jacks. And then remove the hoses. After removing the hydraulic jacks and the extension pieces, hydraulic nut is being unscrewed and taken away from the engine. Now the cylinder head is ready to be removed. All the connections have been removed. Once more check and confirm that it is free to lift. Double check the exhaust side that all the bolts has been removed. Now mount the lifting tool. With the help of a chain block, slowly lift the cylinder head. Be very sure that cylinder head is moving up freely. If there is any obstructions or it is uh, cylinder is not coming freely, check for the reason. Now it's coming up free, uh, freely. Now it's free from the engine. Now take away the head and place it on a wooden block. With the help of the injector removing tool, we can remove the fuel injector. Tighten the nut fully so that the injector will be jacked up. Now we lift up the injector. Now this cylinder head has to be overhauled before using on the engine.
Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more videos.